Hi, I'm Zach Wilson, and I'm the projection designer for EDMT's production of Disney's Alice in Wonderland Jr. I run the show off of a program called QLab, and that's what's currently pulled up on the screen. So I've got my cue list, and during the show, I manually fire 50 different cues, which then automatically fires 215 other cues. We have a sequence in the show, which is Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Now we've gone through uh, many different ideas of how to do this, but what we ended up on is having Alice elevated behind what we call a scrim. A scrim is basically, think, a tight netted kind of fabric. So when you light it from, when you light something that's behind it, you can see it, but when you light it from the front, you can't see behind it. So we light Alice behind it and we project on the front side of it, so it looks like she is actually falling down a rabbit hole. Alright, spot stand by and respect my hair. So this is what the video file looks like just on the computer. And I've actually got some references to other shows in it. For instance, we've got our Les Mis section, we've got the flag and the rifles, one of them shoots smoke, the bridge and the top hat, the yellow ticket of leave, and I've got a Mary Poppins section too. We've got kites and a chimney uh, that blows smoke and her umbrella. So I've got another sequence in the show where Alice takes a bite of a cookie and runs to the White Rabbit's house and grows really big and fills the entire house. Now to do this I took pictures of both of the girls and kind of blended them together. When they're running this is mostly Emily but with Nittany's face. It's mostly Emily because the lighting was better because of the time of day I was able to take her pictures. But when she uh, starts growing out of the house there's Emily's arms with Nittany's hands because they were better for picking up carrots and those are mostly Nittany's legs. Basically, my final sequence in the show is when Alice is uh, deciding who she is and everything kind of starts falling apart and she ends up back in the real world. And so we are currently at the court scene in the Queen's Royal Garden. And so I've got a castle of cards because the Queen would make her cards form a castle. Um, but when everything starts falling apart, the castle starts falling apart too and the cards fly out and over the uh, stage. So to do this, I have a digital model in the computer. And so I placed every one of these cards, and then when it was time for them to fly away, I animated each card individually to fly away and spin and twirl and do its thing. Yeah, yesterday was, um, we just had to do a problem. This is what now I've got some other fun surprises too, such as Alice's shrinking and growing sequences when she's in the room with the door, or self-illuminated mushrooms. So you're gonna have to come see EDMT's production of Disney's Alice in Wonderland Jr. to catch them all. It runs through July 17th. I'll see you there.